Um, as I mentioned, you know, when, when I've had to do CMS overhauls and, and new site designs and everything like that, it is like steering the Titanic. How can, with other audible standards and other things coming, how can we get better at it from the publisher's side so we're not doing this reactionary thing at the very last minute? It seems like it's a cultural issue for us. Everything has been reactionary, I think, <laughs> honestly. And uh, I, I will say, though, and I don't use that analogy, I like to say changing your transmission as you're going down the highway at 80 miles per hour. Because um, that's really what it is. You, you have to switch over to a new ad server, a, a new version, et cetera. That, that's what it's like. Uh, listen, the, the problems, I mentioned audible guidelines. Guess what? The next issue is probably going to be data and how many data vendors are, are there out there. And people don't understand the issues with data at this point in time. People have not been educated. I will tell you, with data, there, uh, there's, someone says we have financial data. We've got credit cards and, and uh, debit cards. I'm sorry, but you're missing cash and checking. And how many cars have you bought with a credit card? Zero. And how many sticks of gum have you bought with a credit card? Zero. Um, there's, there's other data. There's, uh, someone mentioned Rentrac. Yeah, Brian did. Rentrac versus Nielsen. Set top box. Well, you know, desirable. However, how many people are over on uh, the antenna, you know, over the air? Uh, there's other data sets out there. They all have blind spots, and people are going to have to get smart about that. So it's just the we all have to get be smart and try to think ahead, but yeah. that's reality. Let, can, let me let me build on yeah. that. Is my mic live? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you know, one of the things we just talked about is how there's. N I don't think I agree. That, I agree that there's not going to be 15 vendors out there long term. That there's going to be a handful. But one thing we haven't talked about is that, um, from a publisher perspective at least, we want to work with vendors who have end-to-end -end solutions as much as possible. And nobody's there at the moment, but the, the worst thing is to have a request come in to work with one vendor for audience uh, verification, a different, different vendor for viewability, a different vendor for data, um, a different vendor for fraud. And we, we've seen these requests come in. I, I don't think we see that many from you guys, but you, <laughs> but you get these requests that come in and then you start to realize that they all overlap in ways that are not predictable. And so, um, you know, there are point solutions out there there. I don't think long term those point solutions are going to be sustainable. They'll either get integrated into end to end solution yeah. or, or they won't. And from our perspective, we know that there are times when we need to work with third parties to validate either the audience or the viewability or the fraud, etc. But we don't, uh, we want to be working in as frictionless as possible. And I think from a buyer perspective, I'm assuming that you guys have the same motivation to make sure that, that we, you know, we're looking at the same numbers and the conversations aren't a lot of different people pointing at each other. And that's the, the most important thing is we, we actually have to make an effort to communicate more openly with the buy side. Buy side and sell side need to get in the same room. And we started doing that back in 2006 and it was, it's very constructive. We started talking about the friction issues, it, laying it on the table. What we also need is more people that are smart and there are a number of people out in the audience of that ilk, uh, smarter than me. Uh, that can actually bring something to the table. We need them in forums, IAB forums, and Scott, you, you'd be the beneficiary of that, so that we can actually uh, start getting the smart people mobilized on those issues. So it's a, a, batter, a matter of uh, doing a better job of communicating so together. Let, let me give one plug for this afternoon's town hall, because Yahoo has sponsored the viewability town hall exactly for that reason. You know, we're, gonna, we're not going to have much time for questions now, but we believe that this is an issue, obviously, of industry-wide importance, and the standards are going to continue to evolve. There needs to be conversations. And to Dan's uh, point about the need for broad adoption and broad conversations, that's why I, I'd encourage everybody to come at 4 o'clock to the town hall we're having on this topic this mm -hmm. afternoon.